July 13, 1931 is a historical date of great significance to Kashmir and Kashmiri Muslims in particular. Um, it's a date when, in my view, uh, Kashmiri nation was born um, because this is a date where uh, all sections of the Kashmiri Muslim society kind of gathered together and participated in what some a philosopher like Alan Badu would call a historical riot. Um, uh, uh, this was a event, a critical event, because it um, allowed Kashmiris across the um, you know society to acknowledge and understand um, the oppressive forces of the Hindu rule that had kept them down since 1846 when the British sold Kashmir to the Dobra Hindu um, uh, Maharajas. Um, so, I mean, there are, of course, there are micro histories of the event, what particularly led to a July 13 riot, um, which is related to the um, a trial or mistrial of a man um, who had been uh, accused by the government forces of inciting uh, trouble in Kashmir. But um, as an anthropologist, I believe that there were uh, broader forces at play. And one of them was the oppressive nature of the regime that had been controlling Kashmir. Um, Kashmir was under um, uh, uh, and almost like a totalitarian Hindu uh, state, uh, which denied Kashmiri Muslim or Muslim their dignity, um, their uh, right to free livelihood. Um, you know, they were like um, a heavy taxation policies. Kashmiris, Kashmiris were actively denied education. Kashmiris, um, Kashmiri Muslim could not uh, bear arms, for instance, for self-defense. And Kashmir, Kashmiri Muslim had been reduced to the position of uh, uh, chattel slavery uh, over the last or the previous 70 years. Um, so that was the main reason why, why people kind of gathered in Srinagar and other major towns at that time um, to protest. Um, the protests were brutally um, you know, cut down by the government forces, which led to further escalation of protests. Uh, it, the event was quite significant because it unleashed numerous political forces in Kashmir. And that's why I say that it was, uh, uh, it, it produced the Kashmiri nation because um, there was, this was the first time that mass protests began in Kashmir, uh, that new political parties emerged, new political formations and resistance groups emerged in Kashmir, and uh, a variety of political forces influenced by global events, of course, you know, um, some, some of them were um, nationalists, some of them were like communists, some of them socialist, uh, and, uh, or, you know, adopted Islamic or Muslim um, kind of idiom. Um, and but all of them together kind of give significance to July 13, 1931. Before uh, 2019, even um, and especially after 1947, the events of July 13, 1931 uh, were appropriated by the new Muslim Kashmiri Muslim elite who sort of collaborated with the Indian state, which had annexed Kashmir uh, in October 1947. Um, especially the National Conference, um, its governments kind of turned uh, July 13, 1931 uh, as a, into a state holiday. Um, um, uh, they were already kind of trying to sort of erase the insurrectionary, the protest uh, kind of like interpretation of this, these events. Um, because this, these events were not uh, a result of elites fighting the Dograts. These were like, you know, ordinary Kashmiris, artisans, peasantry, um, um, fighting the oppressive rulers. Uh, so it had kind of already been misappropriated by the collaborator regimes in Kashmir. Um, but still, uh, there was um, some semblance that among across Kashmir, people identified with this event, continued to identify with the event. And after 2019, of course, the you know the Hindu nationalist regime that came uh, that had come to power in India, uh, they had always wanted 
Kashmir to not remember this event. I mean, in fact, in the Hindu nationalists in Jammu had uh, for years been trying to claim that uh, the Maharaja's rule had been benign and he had been maligned by the Kashmiri Muslims, his subjects. Um, and so they wanted to kind of rescue the image and the, you know, the history of that, uh, of the Dogra rule. Um, but they had not been successful because in Kashmir, um, aside from the state appropriation of this day, uh, ordinary Kashmiris uh, and pro-freedom uh, activists uh, always remember the insurrectionary part of the July 13, 1930. And that's why it was a day of Hartal or shutdown and not a state holiday for Kashmiri Muslims. Um, and of course, the Hindu nationalists would like Kashmiris not only to uh, forget uh, themselves as a political community with the right to freedom and independence. Uh, they would like Kashmiris to forget themselves as a people. And as I said at the very beginning, July 13, 1931 is that great event, critical event that made Kashmiri Muslims into a people as a political uh, you know, nation, a political community uh, with a claim to uh, right to freedom and right to independence and right to dignified life. Mm-hmm.